Here's the deal. I just answered another email from another drummer. I love getting messages from you guys, so don't stop sending those in. But after having answered a million of these over the years, I have to say, stop it. In your practice time, you have to stop changing directions every few practice sessions or you are not going to get anywhere. I can't say it any clearer. The, I liken this to trying to take a road trip. Let's say I want to go to Six Flags, okay? And it's six hours away. And I plot it out and I look on the map and I go, that's the way I'm supposed to go. This is the interstate I'm supposed to take. Now, what would happen if every time I passed an exit, I took that exit? I would never get there. What if I said, oh man, this drive is long and it's getting kind of boring and it's not as exciting as that exit looks kind of cool. I'm going to stop at that gas station. And then I get off the interstate. I will never get to my destination. The fastest way to get to your destination is to pick a chorus and stick to it. I can't say this any plainer. I'm not mad. I'm just frustrated that so many people are seeing such little progress because they get in their practice time and they're not making the improvement they think they should on whatever le level they think they should be making it. And so they switch their focus and it's too soon. You've truly wasted your time if you spend a week working on something and then you say, well, I didn't improve as much as I wanted to, so I'm going to switch to another topic. You've truly wasted a week of your time, everything you spent working on that. The only way to master that is to continue to work on it. Don't let your brain trick you. Your brain will try to play tricks and games on you. It'll say, this is boring. We're not getting anywhere. See, that's your brain signaling that an event has become in, in, in uh, for lack of a better word, boring. In other words, it's no longer shiny and new. There's other shiny and new books. There's other shiny and new videos. There's other shiny and new techniques that we could learn. But that's not the way to get better. You have to plug into something. You have to keep working at it. And it's got to suck. And then it's got to be good. And then it's got to suck again. And then you're going to feel bad about it. And then you're going to feel good about it. And then you'll feel like you're making progress. And then you'll feel like you went eight steps backwards. And then one day you're going to sit down and go, man, I can play this on a level that name that player can play that. I have mastered this. And then once you've hit your goal and reached your destination, then move on to the next thing. Stop taking every exit. You're never going to get to where you want to go if you continually change the topics that you're working on in your practice time.